Dredging in New Zealand. I wonder how much gold is here. I am so happy to be here. Woohoo! Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Polly. I just woke up and today is day two on our amazing dredging trip. There is still a ton of gold along those bedrock sides just like our last video I posted which was day one. Anyways, this will be a really fun series so sit back, relax and enjoy. So we have to put together the two inch dredge right now. This is a my super beauty, huge monster dredge for the day. And this is their dredge for the day. As you can see, I can stand on it. This whole thing will float. I'm pretty sure this one dredge could suck up my dredge. It's gonna work, should work. So even though this dredge isn't very big, it's still gonna be much better than using a gold pan. The mini dredge fits on the big dredge. It's a dredge conspiracy. Once we packed up, we made our way up the river and down to where we would start our day. So the gold here is really fine. Now you can find nuggets here, but down this far, it's unlikely. But today the goal is to just suck up as much material as possible to increase the amount of gold we find. Small gold or not, I am so happy to be here. There's a big piece of quartz, wow. I gotta say, it feels really strange driving vehicles in a river, especially coming from a place where even a simple sluice box is mm -hmm. considered illegal. Any last words? So I'm gonna head upstream to where I was yesterday if you haven't seen my first video of the series. There's a lot of good gold there and I'm just gonna stick to the bedrock and see what we find. Have fun with your Supermax dredge. While Rex and Darren unloaded the monster Supermax dredge, I carried on like a lonely soldier heading off into the sunset with half a bottle of water and a bag of salted raisins my grandmother's friend gifted me when I met her walking a three-legged chihuahua. I eventually found where I was working in the last video and started sucking up all the material below it. It was also very hard to film with one hand because anytime I got a rock stuck in the nozzle, I had to use my camera hand to unclog it something I'm gonna have to figure out in the future. After a whole bunch of days doing this, I learned that my technique when I first started here is very bad, which is contributing to all my nozzle jams. But one thing is for sure, Using a suction nozzle is way better than hand fanning and moving a bunch of material with your leg arms. Do you think dredging videos are entertaining? I find them hard to edit because there's not a lot going on. It's the same shots all day. But either way, if you enjoy these dredging videos, please hit subscribe and that bell notification so you don't miss another upload. All right, I'm just having a quick break here. It's actually really hard to film. Uh, because um, I have the nozzle in one hand, I'm moving rocks in the other, and then I have a GoPro. I can't use my third hand to <laughs> to film. So Rex is here. He's doing pretty good. How you doing? Good, buddy. Yourself? I'm doing pretty good. How do you enjoy your little, uh, this is like a Triton Greek. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm getting used to it. It's a little small, so it's like easy to tip and stuff. Yeah. There's Darren. Once, uh, once you have a few more days on this, or a few more hours on this, We'll take the training, training wheels off and we'll get you on the Supermax. Yeah. Oh, I know. Look at that thing over there. It's all tied up to these ropes here. What we're going to do right now is a little cleanup just to see if I'm on the gold or not. And then judging by how the gold is, we're going to know what, where to go next. All right, time to clean that dredge out. Gold! <laughs> right. It's tight. Yeah. For the record, depending on how we do, it will depend if I was looking for black sand or gold. You did it! The same flies are pretty nasty in here. Oh, I know. 
So we would take out that top green mat because you're supposed to, but the bolts were on way too tight, so we just left it. 10 ounces. I didn't really see any gold go up, but uh, you know, you never know. <gasps> A piece of gold. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> We got a little bit of gold still in there, but uh, we'll do the big cleanup at the end. This is just a quick little test. Same flies are in us. I don't see any gold. Oh, I'll just dump the whole lot in the river, mate. <laughs> okay, I'm bored. Are you seeing any gold here, Paulie? I'm seeing a little bit. But I'm so good at panning that and you're not going to see it up top anymore. You're going to only see it at the end. <clears throat> Dang it, yeah, there's one there. Oh yeah, nice little piece. That lets us know that there's black sand around. Oh, we got a piece of lead. Alrighty. Tons of little pieces of pyrite in there. You can see the gold starting to accumulate so not bad I feel like we could do a bit better than that but uh that's still lots of nice shiny gold all right so that really wasn't enough gold to really stick to that spot so I moved the dredge just a little bit and I'm gonna work right into the bank and I might actually have to dredge out of the water this time but again if I'm not really seeing the gold I'm gonna go way upstream Because this dredge isn't very big, I'm just gonna start where it's shallow along the bedrock, then hopefully make my way a little deeper. I want all this stuff in my nozzle. This actually takes a long time and it's not good for the gloves, but I want more gold. So I just moved this monster log out of the way. It looks really good in here, really packed and really full of clay. Before I clean that out, I'm gonna go downstream and check up on Rex and Darren. Why isn't that one working? So Rex and Darren both take turns running the nozzle while the other one focuses on moving bigger rocks. Sounds easy enough, but doing this six to eight hours a day, every day, it gets exhausting. But look how clean the bedrock looks when you're done. Cleaning this much gravel without a dredge and a reliable partner would take me days. Okay. Um, 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 um. These guys are doing it right. There are different names for this tool, but I like to call it a water gun. It's used to break fractured bedrock and wash out pieces of gold that are stuck in tight areas. It's satisfying to watch. On several occasions, I would get blasted with the hose anytime I would walk by them. I walked down back to my spot, turned on my mini dredge, and worked a bunch of this sand till I ran out of gas. But eventually I worked through the sand and got down to some hard pack that actually looked pretty good. And while breaking up all the material, I noticed the first piece of gold that we can actually see go up the nozzle. Like I always say, finding gold is a hint that there could be gold around. It's really hard to fill up by yourself because you're constantly moving rocks out of the way. I went back out of the water to try to get more of that beautiful bench gold up in the nozzle. Yeah. 
So if it's not a rock that gets stuck, it's uh, sticks. I eventually ran out of gas and called it a day. All right, so two tanks done. We're gonna call it a day. I'm hungry and I'm hoping I found more gold on that second, uh, second tank, but let's find out. So here's the concentrates for the second tank. Let's see. So here's our second tank. Still not bad. I'll be happy with that every single day but apparently it does get better, so I'm recommended that I go upstream. So here's all the gold in total for today. Mm -hmm. Still not bad, and again, I would do this every day, but I don't think this is enough to weigh, so tomorrow, let's go upstream. That's it for this video, but stay tuned, because tomorrow, we're going upstream. And yes, we found more gold than this. <laughs>